Today's abridged scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Nehemiah chapter 8. And all the people gathered as one person at the public square, which was in front of the water gate. And they asked Ezra, the scribe, to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had given to Israel. Then Ezra, the priest, brought the law before the assembly of men, women, and all who could listen with understanding, on the first day of the seventh month. And he read from it before the public square, which was in front of the water gate, from early morning until midday, in the presence of men and women, those who could understand. And all the people were attentive to the book of the law. Then Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was standing above all the people, and when he opened it, all the people stood up. Then Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with the raising of their hands. Then they kneeled down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Then Nehemiah, who was the governor, and Ezra, the priest and scribe, and the Levites, who taught the people, said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep. For all the people were weeping when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go, eat the festival foods, drink the sweet drinks, and send portions to him who has nothing prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your refuge." So the Levites silenced all the people, saying, Be still, for the day is holy. Do not be grieved. Then all the people went away to eat, drink, to send portions, and to celebrate a great feast, because they understood the words which had been made known to them. And there was very great rejoicing. He read from the book of the law of God daily, from the first day to the last day, and they celebrated the feast seven days. And on the eighth day, there was a festive assembly in accordance with the ordinance. It's amazing how two people can hear the same sermon about the same portion of Scripture and yet walk away with completely different reactions. One could be deeply affected and the other indifferent to the message. Why does this happen? The main reason is the condition of a person's heart. Nehemiah chapter 8, today's scripture passage, is an amazing scene of God's people coming together to hear His Word. They had been in captivity for many years and were hungry for His Word. For most of them, this was the first time they heard the scriptures. Are you hungry for God's Word? Do you listen eagerly with an expectant mind and heart? When those of us who are believers genuinely long to know more of the Lord, it's easier for our mind to focus on what he's saying. And this is the case whether we're listening to a pastor or teacher, reading our Bible, or following a book study. So many things clamor for our focus, but nothing is as important as what the Lord has to say. He is worthy of our undivided attention. Remember, Jesus promised that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness would be satisfied. Rest assured, that whoever listens to God's Word with an open heart and alert mind will receive from Him.